Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be testing out a full face of your current favorites. I have so many great products here, so I asked you guys a few days ago on Instagram to send me over products that you are loving, drugstore and high-end, of course, and I got such a good mix and variety of different products, different brands. So I did a little shopping online and in my stash, and we're gonna be testing out a couple new products today, and then I also have products that you guys are loving that I already had in my collection, which was great. So whenever I am doing these kinds of videos, I like to pick out products that I haven't used used in a little bit that are brand new or that are just like really popular in general. A lot of the things that I have in today's video are because multiple of you guys are loving them. So I really tried to pick out the products that were like mostly highlighted in all of your responses. So I love doing these videos because whenever you guys are involved, I feel like you just know me so well. And a lot of the things that I love are because of your recommendations because I feel like since we're all like friends and we all just have a lot of like makeup things in common, a lot of products work for us. Not everything, but a lot of products. So whenever I do these videos, like I said, the outcome is usually always really good. And and I end up loving a lot of the things that you guys love as well. So thank you to everyone who sent over product recommendations. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it because we're probably going to be here for a while. You guys know I've been very chatty lately with my videos. So let's get into it. So brows are done and the lids are primed. And I will leave the products that I used down below like always. So I'm going to move into eyeshadow. And this was a very popular palette. And I feel like it's because this was a pretty popular collection when it did launch. So this is the ColourPop and Malibu Barbie palette. I've used this a couple times on my channel and I actually really love this palette so I was excited to see that a lot of you guys are still loving it and I double checked before I filmed and this palette is also still available and it's on sale so that's another reason I'm excited about using it today so I think I'm gonna do like a pop of yellow in the inner corners but overall I want to keep the look very like neutral warm because I've actually never done like a neutral look with this palette but I still want to do a pop of color so I'm gonna start off with the shade make waves at the bottom and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade I feel like the colors in this palette are so much more vibrant when you actually put them on your eyes versus in the pan. And I'm building this shade up quite a bit. I think I want to do a like halo-ish smoky eye, but I want the crease to be pretty like warm and like orangey. Then I'm going to take the shade SoCal, which is a brighter orange. I'm going to use a different brush it's still like a fluffy blending brush and i'm just gonna put that right where i just applied that previous shade i love this palette though because it is so pigmented and like really easy to blend and build up the colors colors blend really nicely so i really love this palette if you need like a little fun kind of summery palette are you guys like still in summer mode or like are we like into fall like now that it's august because i feel like once august is here it's like back to school season and then bam it's fall in my eyes then i'm going to take this really gorgeous warm brown and i'm going to take that color and start applying that on like the lid area and also in the crease let me use a different brush. And then mixing it with the orange, it kind of just makes this really pretty like burnt shade. It's so, so pretty mixed. I love this. I love how rich the shade is. This look is actually definitely giving me like fall vibes right now, but I'm loving it though. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this color right here called Shine On. Let's do a little swatch. That's very pretty. And I don't think I've ever used this color in this palette. So with that, I'm gonna use a brush. Pretty, but we need a little spray to make it pop. Or I can just use my finger. Yes, I love it. Take the little brush, blend out the edges a little bit, and then add a little bit more of that brown if needed, like around the edges of the center shade just to make it pop. Your fingers really are like the best tools. Like look at how much your finger can pick up the product versus just the brush. All right, I am loving the eyes. So pretty, very obviously simple, warm, but I really like this palette. This is fun. If you are in the market for a new one, I think this is a really good one. So now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Stila Huge Lash Mascara. I've never used this. I just picked this up from Ulta yesterday. I smell everything. 
but you already knew that. And this is what the wand looks like. So it's a little bit thinner, but it doesn't look too wide or like bulky. So I feel like it's gonna be good for the top and lower lashes. I'm gonna curl them and then you know I'm gonna go in with falsies. So let's try out this mascara. There's also a waterproof version in this, by the way. I feel like I can see my lashes whenever I have mascara on them, and then whenever I'm editing, I'm like, nobody can see your lashes, Jazz. Like, they're so, so short. But, yeah. Can you see that? Like, it's actually separating, showing up. The formula of this is a little bit more on the dry side, which I think is nice, and I like that. I really don't buy that many, like, high-end mascaras anymore because I wear falsies a lot of the times, and I have so many favorite, like, drugstore mascaras. So for me, like, I don't really feel like it's 100% worth it. As always, I will test this out on the lower lashes, and I'll let you guys know my thoughts later on. Now for false lashes, I'm going to use these from Salon Perfect, the 694s. So one of you guys recommended these and the 291s from Salon Perfect. I couldn't find those. I went to two different Walmarts. I didn't want to wait for them online, so I just went with the 694s because they had these last pack, actually, in stock. But these look so pretty and fluffy. I don't remember if I used these before, but I love Salon Perfect lashes. So I'm going to put these on, and then we will move into the skin. Okay, so I just put on the lashes. I'm not in love with them. I think they're very pretty. They're kind of like a natural lash extension-like lash. I just wish the band was a little bit more flexible because I did struggle a bit to put them on, but they are really pretty. They're not my favorite style from Salon Perfect. I definitely have other favorites, but that's what I love about the brand. If you don't like a style, they have like 30 other styles to choose from. So there's always, I feel like, a lash for everybody, but I'm still loving the look. So now for primer, the first thing I wanted to mention that I did prep my skin with already is the NYX Bear With Me Daily Moisturizing Primer. So this one is the sunscreen primer. So this has SPF 30 in it, and I actually had no idea that NYX had this primer. Well, I heard about it before, but I didn't know that this one had SPF in it. So I feel like it's a great primer for every day. It does say to reapply every two hours and I already have it on and it's very easy to blend put a little bit more on to show you guys I applied this when I was waiting for the lash glue to dry but this is like what it looks like you can see it just absorbs into the skin really quickly it's really lightweight it's not greasy and it doesn't have a sunscreen smell it has a scent but it's not sunscreen and I just picked this up also from Ulta it says it gives you 24 hour hydration it's lightweight quick absorbing formula which I agree non greasy finish also agree and it says it's suitable for a wide range of skin tones and skin types and again, it has SPF 30 in it. So yeah, I really like this. I love the Milani SPF 30 primer, but I'm always down for trying out a new one and I love how quick and easy this absorbs into the skin. So I used that, a couple of you guys mentioned that primer and this was the most popular primer. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I've never used this before, but this apparently has salicylic acid in it and a lot of you guys just love how smooth your makeup looks over top of this primer. So I actually really love the original and I love the matte one the most. It doesn't smell like anything, but I'm excited. Excited to use this one today and see how it looks. I think compared to the other putty primers, this one definitely feels super creamy. I don't know if it's because maybe I have the SPF on underneath already, but it feels a lot less thick than the other primers that they have. The putty primers. I like to mainly focus this on my T-zone, but I will apply it to the rest of the face as well. This one also, compared to the other primers, does have salicylic acid in it, which is nice. Yeah, touching this, it feels so creamy. See how quickly that just blended into the skin? It almost feels also hydrating compared to the other ones where I feel like they're just a lot thicker. I mean, they they do an amazing job at filling in your pores and everything, but this one I feel like is smoothing, but also a lot more hydrating than the others. Like the formula is a little bit different. Now for foundation, this is probably next to the putty primer, the second most popular product that you guys love, and that is the Color Pop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I tested this out before and I haven't used this in a little bit and I remember really loving this foundation. So I have this one in the shade Medium ADW. Yeah, I think I really liked this foundation and it held up really well. I remember loving this with a putty primer actually from e.l.f. Mm -hmm. There's some pretty good coverage as you can see. Still really natural though. Wow, yeah, I haven't used this foundation in a while, but it's really pretty on the skin. And it blends really nicely as well. I did about a pump and a half. It's pretty, and I love how hydrating it is, but it's not like overly dewy, even with the primers and stuff that I have on underneath, it feels 
comfortable. It doesn't feel like oily or greasy on the skin. So moving into concealer, I actually have two products here, a little combination that I'm excited to use because so the Ilia concealer was very common. I feel like Ilia in general, a lot of you guys love their products, but this is the True Skin Serum Concealer. I tested this out before and I don't remember what my thoughts were. I believe it didn't have a ton of coverage in it, but I was excited to see the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So I thought I could just mix both of these and get a nice little combo that way. So this one I got in the shade Melon 06 and I picked this up a few weeks back because I wanted to test it out anyway. So when I saw it on the list of your favorites, I thought it was perfect. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very simple and sleek, just like Fenty, of course. So it says this instantly hydrates, brightens, and blurs. Light as air, sheer to buildable coverage that lasts. Let's do one eye at a time so we can kind of see the coverage. Oh, it's very, very creamy. Oh, definitely brightened. Like you can see, obviously this has a venti and this one doesn't. This one looks a little bit darker. Definitely brightened, but like in the most natural way possible. I think products like this are always really good to use whenever you're using a concealer that doesn't have a ton of coverage. Because then you get a little bit of like an enhancement. So if you're using a concealer that doesn't have a lot of coverage, it still looks really good and it doesn't look as light coverage. I like this. I love how creamy the product is. That's usually what I look for in an under eye corrector. Some of them can be a little bit too thick, but this one has a really nice formula. So I'm going to use obviously more on the other side. I like the applicator on it as well. And this color, surprisingly, I thought it wasn't going to work, but I think it's a pretty good match. My nose is a little bit dry like around this area. I don't know why I have like a random like dry spot right here. So I don't have boogers in my nose. I have a dry nose. Love. Now we're gonna go in with the concealer. Creamy. Ooh, this is nice. The formula. And this one I have in this shade Suma. Ooh, I like the combination of that with the Fenty brightener. That looks really, really good. Yeah, like enhanced the coverage of the Ilia concealer. So I feel like I don't have to use as much, which is nice. Okay, I actually really like the way that looks. I don't know what my thoughts were on the concealer before, but I'm loving it with the Fenty Eye Brightener. This combo is really, really nice and natural. Now for bronzer, I have two here that were super, super popular. These two and then also the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer was very popular, but I have already actually been loving and using that a ton. So I wanted to use two products that I haven't used before. So I have two high-end products here. First, I have the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. This one's in the shade Amber. I don't know if it's gonna match. It looks very warm. And then I have the Say Cosmetics Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. Look at how big this bronzer is, you guys. This is like ginormo. I love it. So this is the one from Say in the shade Light Bronze. And then this one's from ABH. This one's definitely more on the warm side. I think I'm gonna like this one more, but let's test them out. So I'm gonna do one on one side, one on the other. Let's start with ABH first. Let's try it out. Wow, it's really pigmented. but it's really creamy and it's a little bit warm, but I think I can make this shade work. So this formula seems very natural. Like the finish of it is not dewy or matte. It just seems really, really natural. It's really creamy too. It blends very easily. On the other side, by the way, I'm using a different brush. Same brush, I just have two of them and I'm gonna use the one from Say Cosmetics. Oh, it's natural. So here we have the ABH one, definitely a lot more warm. It shows up a little bit more, and this is the other one from Say Cosmetics. This one is more, I would say, like natural buildable. These are the two shades right there. So again, this one right here is ABH, and then the larger swatch is Say Cosmetics. I think I like the formula of the ABH one a little bit more because it is a little bit more creamy, but I think I like the color of the other one a little bit more because it is more natural and less like orangey warm, but they both have a variety of different shades. So it's probably just the color that I chose from the ABH one, but they're both a really nice formulas. They blend really easily. I would say the ABH one is just slightly creamier and it shows up a lot more on the skin, but I think they're both nice. I definitely got some color payoff with both. I'm gonna try to build this one up on this side. I feel like it shows up a little bit lighter when I apply it on the skin with a brush versus like in here, it definitely looks a lot darker. But again, it seems to be buildable. 
Yeah, you can definitely build it up, which is nice. Now for Korean blush, I have a product here from Undone Beauty. So they actually sent this to me in PR. And on my lips, actually, earlier I had their gloss. This one is the Big Papa gloss. And this one is in the shade Barely Pink. It's almost like a lip oil, so it feels really hydrating on the lips. And it smells so good. So that's what I had on my lips earlier. But now I have one of their Lip to Cheek palettes. These apparently are really, really good. So this one I have in the shade Rosewood. And this brand is vegan and cruelty-free. And this looks like such a pretty color. Like this is like perfect for this look as well So a lot of you guys also love tower 28 cream blushes, which I have used before I have some of my collection And I also really love those as well But this was probably the second most popular cream blush that a lot of you guys enjoy and I wanted to use it anyway Because I've never tested this out before. Wow. That's really pigmented. It looks intense <gasps> Oh, this is pigmented, but it's so pretty So I'm kind of blending it upwards towards the bronzer. Wow, that's so pigmented. I'm gonna put some on my nose and I'm gonna blend this out. I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. I'm just gonna go in with the foundation brush and just kind of go over this to really just blend it into the skin and diffuse out that blush. Blends really, really easily though. The color is like perfect and it looks like you can also use these on your lips as well which is really nice less is more but wow i love this formula i love the color of it and i mean this on the lips would be so pretty as well let me put some on right now just to show you guys like this throw it on with like a little bit of lip liner and like you're good to go or like a gloss over top i think multi-use products are also great whenever you're on the go if you're doing like five ten minute makeup so i love this i feel like this is already going to be like a new favorite so so far so good with everything you guys the concealer is creasing a bit but i think that's because i do have to set everything so i'm about to do that now with the powder so last time i did a video testing out your current high-end favorites and a lot of you guys loved this powder and still it was the most popular translucent powder this one and the halo glow setting powder from elf which i love that powder but i I know I love that powder, so I wanted to use this one again because I don't really use that often. And I'm gonna use that right under the eyes. I'll probably just end up using this on my T-zone because then I have a different powder to set the rest of the face. I definitely feel like since the concealer is so natural and now that I set everything, I need a little bit of something extra under my eyes. So I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. Then to set the rest of the face, I picked up the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. So a couple of you guys said this is a must for summer. I actually really love their Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation because even though I have combo skin and sometimes my skin does get dry, that foundation actually doesn't dry out my skin. So I was curious to see how the powder would wear on my combo skin and I have this one in the shade Light Medium. It looks like a good like touch up powder as well. So I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face, like my cheeks, basically just like the outer perimeter. I like how I can still see the bronzer and blush peeking through even though I set everything with the powder. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, definitely a good like mattifying powder for sure, but it doesn't feel drying. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer. This one is in Golden Ecstasy. I actually already had this in my collection and I haven't used it in a little bit, but I love how this is kind of like a, not shimmery bronzer, but it has sort of like a sheen to it, so it's not fully matte. So I'm gonna use this just to add a little bit more color back to the skin. Kind of like a natural glowy bronzer, but it's not really glowy in the sense where it's like shimmer in it. Just gives you like a pretty bronzy kind of look. I like this bronzer, I used it before. For blush, I was so happy to see Juvia's Place on the list. So this is the Blushed Rouge Volume 2 palette. So I actually really love this blush duo. This is also one of my current favorites as well. I love the formula of this so much. I've talked about this in my past couple videos and I love this blush duo. They also have another one that's a little bit darker, but Juvia's Place, like they killed it with this formula. It is so smooth. There's not like a lot of kickback to it. It's very pigmented and I love the combination of both of these blushes but I also like them individually as well and I'm probably gonna just today use both of them like let's mix And then for highlighter, this is another product that I already had in my collection that I haven't used in a minute, but I love how big this is. This is the Catrice Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. This thing will last my entire life. So let's dip in here. Wow. 
Okay, I forgot how pigmented this, this is intense. Okay, we have to blend that out, that's a lot. If you like something really intense though, I think you would really like this, but I think for me it's a little bit too much for the cheeks because I just don't wear that much highlighter these days. But for the body, this would be stunning like on your chest. I'll put a little bit right here on my shoulders to show you. Oh, it's so pretty though. Super glowy. And obviously the brush that I used was very tiny. This one is from Shop Miss A. So it's gonna pick up the product and kind of concentrate the product in that specific area a little bit more versus like a fluffier brush. But I think for me personally, it works best as like a body highlighter versus the face, but I love it nonetheless. It's a really intense, glowy, pretty, shimmery highlighter. Now for the lips, I'm gonna start off with the ColourPop BFF Lippy Pencil, and this one is in BFF 3. I've never tried this color before. I've tried BFF, the original. That is one of my all-time favorites, but let's try this one. I love ColourPop's Lippy Pencil formula. It's so creamy. Ooh, it's a good brown. Especially if you are like darker, tanner, deeper skin tone than me, this would be beautiful on you. But like in general, it's a really pretty brown. And then I have the NYX Lingerie XXL Matte Liquid Lipstick, which was super, super popular as far as liquid lipstick goes. But I don't know if this color is going to necessarily match, but we'll try to make it work. This one is an undressed. Uh, I think it, I think it will. It's a little bit more like pinky, like mauve-y. Well, these smell good. I think I can make it work. Feels so moussey, but like not drying on the lips. I feel like it doesn't really match with the eye look, but it's still really cute. It's different for me, total fall vibes. The lippy pencil I love, I think it's a great brown shade, but this feels really good. It doesn't seem like it's drying down, totally matte, feels a little bit sticky, but I'll let it dry for a little bit longer. We'll see if it's transfer proof and how it feels on the lips, but I love this color and there's a ton of colors in this line. So moving into the lower lashes, I think I wanna do a little pop of yellow. Let's try it out. If it doesn't work out, I'll do something different, but I'm gonna go into the color West Coast right here and let's see how this looks. Actually, I don't know if how I really feel about that because it's more of a deeper yellow. It's not really bright. So maybe I can just place this color down and then I can go in with like a shimmer over top. So since we have that color placed down, I'm gonna go into the color Cali Girl. You can still kind of see like the yellow underneath a little bit, but I just added the shimmer to lighten it up. So then I'm gonna take the shade Zuma Beach and I'll probably end up mixing it in with this color right down here, SoCal. And let's test out this mascara again from Stila on the lower lashes. So since I smudged some mascara on this eye, I'm just taking that same mascara and since it's still a little bit wet, I'm kind of just smudging it on the other eye to kind of just make this look a little bit darker and smokier and to balance both eyes out. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup and I'm gonna use the Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Dewy Setting Spray. I don't believe I've ever tried this before. And we're done. So that is officially it for this full face of your current favorites. I'm getting all the fall vibes. I feel like it's like September, October already, which by the way, fall is my absolute favorite season. But I really love the way this turned out. I love a lot of the new products that I used in today's video as well. There was really only, I would say like two things here that I wasn't like crazy about. And first being is the Ilia powder. I don't know what it is about this, but I'm not a huge fan of this powder. I know everybody loves it. So let me know like, am I applying it wrong? Should I just not set my under eyes with it? Should I use a different kind of brush because it's not my favorite for the price. I definitely have other like high-end and drugstore powders that I prefer. The lashes are nice but these again are not my favorite but that's just me being picky because I kind of already have like my favorite lashes and I know what works with my eyes especially because I have two different eye shapes but they are very pretty like natural kind of lash extension like lashes so if you like that look I think you would really like these. So you might like the lashes you know everything works differently for everybody and then the mascara was nice but again it's not something that I would repurchase for the price point but everything else I'm in love with. I love the way the eyes turned out. I love the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. This is probably my favorite product that I used out of the entire video. This was beautiful, especially this color in Rosewood. Perfect for fall, perfect. I mean, I know it's barely August right now, but I feel like this is gonna be the perfect fall cream blush. The formula is amazing. I also really loved the cream bronzers that I used as well. The Anastasia bronzer is a little bit more pigmented than this one that I used. They're both great formulas, just a little bit different. The Say Cosmetics one, I like the fact that it is buildable and you can get it to be super natural 
natural or you can get it to be a little bit more intense if you use more product. And I also love the color of this one more than the Anastasia one, but they're both great and I will continue to use them. Loved the primer combination also that I did today. The NYX Bear With Me primer with the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Primer was great. It was super smoothing and hydrating. The setting spray from Joa Beauty was nice. I'll definitely have to keep using it though because I don't feel like I got much of a do. Like I'm comparing this to like the Milani Make a Dewy or like the e.l.f. Coconut Setting Spray that is dewy. Comparing this one to that, this one definitely is not as dewy, but it did feel nice and refreshing on the skin. Maybe I need to use a little bit more or maybe it's just because my face is so matte from that NYX powder, but I will keep using it and testing it out because I love a good dewy setting spray, especially a drugstore one. I also really like the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. I'm going to throw this in my purse because it's going to be a good touch up powder. It's matte, but it's not drying on the skin, but it's definitely really smoothing and it set the makeup perfectly. I really liked the concealer combo that I did with the under eye brightener from Fenty Beauty. This was really nice. I don't like the way that it looked when I set it with the Ilia powder, but I do like the cream products, both of these together. The foundation was good. The lip combo I really also love. I'll do a little kiss test. There's a little bit like a tiniest bit that came off. That's probably from the inner part of like my lips, but I love this color and these liquid lipsticks are so comfortable. They don't feel drying. They do kind of settle into the lines of my lips, but I feel like most liquid lipsticks do that, but it still feels really, really nice. And I definitely want to try out more colors because of how comfortable this feels. I've been wearing this for almost an hour. When I finished up my makeup, I actually went downstairs, took a little bit of a break, let Bernard out. So it's been a while since I've been wearing this and it still feels really, really good and it's comfortable. Also the inner portion doesn't look like it's fading into like that butthole lip moment, which I'm not about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like when you go like this and then it looks so like just crusty and ugly in there, this actually looks really good. So we have another successful video today. I really love the way this turned out. Love the look, love the products. Thank you guys so much for the amazing recommendations. I will definitely continue to do videos like this and keep you guys in mind. Cause like I said, your recommendations are so good. So thank you so much. I think I found a couple new favorites that you guys will be seeing in some upcoming videos. So stay tuned. And that is officially it for this this full face. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.